Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon NL playthrough so last episode we made our way to Cinnabar Island had to navigate through Seafoam Islands probably missed a lot of stuff there though but we'd to go back through we'd have to go back to Fuchsia City and swim there again so then we explored Cinnabar Island and all we've got left to do now is the mansion which is I'm assuming is where Blaine's gonna be and then we can do the gym we also had a battle with Wallace from Hoenn. It wasn't actually that bad. It was quite comfortably easy, really. So, um, yeah, let's get into today. So, if we head up here, the mansion is just here. In fact, that might be Blaine there. Are you looking for the gym leader of this island? Well, you're lucky he's right in front of you. I'm Blaine, a scientist and fire type expert and master of riddles. However, it would be more accurate to say that your luck has been half hearted since we have a setback. As you can see, this large house has seen better times. It used to be a laboratory equipped with highly advanced technology, but an unfortunate fire caused by a failed experiment destroyed everything. Team Rocket has been hanging around the area for several nights, stalking the mansion. They may simply be trying to sneak in steal valuables, or they may have a deeper motive. This is the challenge I propose if you want to face me. Enter the burnt mansion and solve the riddle. What is Team Rocket looking for in there? If you get in the badges as painstakingly as they say you are, you'll find it a simple task. I will patiently wait for you to bring me the results of your research. Good luck. Okay. So we'll head on in here. Obviously, this is a fire mansion. So, probably lead us to Sarah Ledge. Actually, we can go for Uncle Because then we can bulldoze everything. And there's obviously going to be encounters in here. Nothing we really want there. Some pretty cool encounters though. I will say that. It's the old dust clouds which means it's not going to be too hard to navigate through here. Right, so we've got Burn Heal. Ah, are you a ghost of those who died in the fire? Um, absolutely not. Okay, Frostlass. Hmm. Let's go into Tinker Time. Yeah, we take that comfortably. Then we'll knock off. You go for a nasty plot. Okay, this is a rock. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Let's go for Play Rough. We take that Shadow Ball comfortably. That's a plus two Shadow Ball as well. Now comes for us, lass. So yeah, we'll stay in Iron Head. That KO is perfect. Well, for Ghost, you're a real piece of work. I mean, the only one that was under illusions was you. I've got a Firestone and a PP up. Let's go and check what's over here first. Oh, how have I not avoided that? We got away from the ponytail though, so it's not too bad. Alright, so we need to open that up. I'm assuming the Persian statue. Yeah. No, that hasn't opened up. We have got a moonstone though. So that's probably opened something upstairs. Hey you, if you come to steal the mansion's valuables, well I'm afraid you're late. Yeah, there's loads of thieves in here. Oh, okay, you're perfect to bulldoze. Oh my god, it lived? What? And then Scrafty. Let's go kill a watch roll. And air slash. Scrafty takes that like a champ. Thieves think they're all alike. Okay, so let's explore up here first. July 5th, Peru, South America. New type Pokemon was discovered in the rainforest. 
It's believed that it could be the ancestral Pokemon Mew, the first Pokemon ever to inhabit our world. So we should get a little bit of information about the lore. Got a calcium. What else can we find? The mansion's actually quite big. There's nothing up here. I think we'll have to go up here. I wonder if the encounters have changed. Yeah, because Gullit and Gullurk were when we last checked. Okay, so another trainer battle, let's go. I don't know how to get out, this whole place is a huge maze. Shiftry. I'll go for Yawn. No more headbutt. Wow. One more headbutt. Not bad, not bad. Oink alone still the M MP, MVP. Use Pokeball because we've still got three more use after that. And then we've got a full heal. Another trainer bell. Okay, so this is actually different. Because I don't remember there being this many levels. Bulldoze, and then one more should take you out. I oh, know you switched. Okay. Right, let's go to low kicks. You just calm mind, I don't mind that too much. First impression. And then we crunch. Don't really know why you would do that. Because now we just crunch anyway. Sometimes the AI is really stupid. So, you know, we'll just carry up. Like, you can't get through there. You can go this way, though. I've got Dawnstone. I saw some guys in black, they didn't look like normal thieves. Were they Team Rocket? I mean, there's a good possibility, yeah. Okay, Rotom. Let's go for a Yawn. Switch to Low Kicks. And then we just crunch. How have you woke up like that quick? Be careful man, the ground could break under our feet. I mean, you were the one that wanted to battle. So you can get Bish... Oh, you could get a King Gambit, but we've already got Dark and we've got Steel Type. Um, might as well have Pokeboil. Still got two more uses. September the 11th, Mewtwo is too powerful, we won't be able to contain his strength for long. Mr Giovanni insists on continuing with the test and increasing his psychic abilities as much as possible. This has gotten out of hand, it echoes through its deep sleep, we cannot escape. Ok let's press that switch. I don't know what this actually changes but... It doesn't really look like anything. Well, actually, yeah, this has opened up this. Got a shiny stone. And an ether. I can't see if I could salvage something from the lab, but everything is in a sorry state. What are you here for? Here to kick out little thieves like you. Okay, we'll bulldoze. And then go for another one. Gets rid of Heliolisk. Um, camera rocked. Probably better to just stay in. 
bulldoze. Yeah, it does enough. That earthquake does a lot as well. Um, Swallow, let's go to Espathra. Which we haven't used for a while. Lumina Crash. And we get poisoned. Fantastic. Cerulege wants to learn Psycho Cut. I mean, we could get rid of Will O Wisp. I've come across something I didn't expect. Right, Poker Vial for the last time. Continue along here. Gotta be something in here, right? Got TM for Will O Wisp, not bad. And a B Sharp, you know what? We're gonna actually catch this. Let's go for a Yawn. Headbutt. You're now for the sleep. Catch you a great ball. It's only because I want to see what? Okay, Ultra Ball then. I want to see how it actually evolves in this. Oh my god. Okay, yawn it again. Another headbutt. Ultra Ball, oh, we can't use items, what the hell? What about if we switch? Nope, doesn't want to stay in the Poker Walk. Let's try again. I mean, it's not even rolling. Um, we'll switch to Killer Watch Roll. Dusk Ball. Let's try Dusk Ball. Okay, that's even worse. Never known something would be so hard to catch. Okay, now you're asleep again. There we go, finally. That was tough, man. Okay, so let's search this up. So, type, we want to go steel and fish out. There we go. Oh, it just evolves at level 42. Not bad then. Would we really use it though? I think the only thing I'd get rid of is probably a Spathra. So, heal for the last time. See, we've got some Pokemon that got KO'd. And then let's flick this. And here we go. Commander, there's a lot of junk here. It's going to take us a while to find what you're looking for. It doesn't matter since you're the cutest henchman in Team Rocket. I'm sure you'll end up finding it for me. Ha! You're the super mega strong trainer who beat Mr. Giovanni twice. I'm Commander Surya, the strongest of all the commanders and the most beautiful future boss Team Rocket has ever had. Do you want to handle it, Commander? Oh no, you were useless in battle. Besides, you deprive me of the only amusement I can find in this mission. Do you want to meet my lovely fairy type Pokemon? Okay. You're new. Let's go for a yawn. Ah, oh, missed. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go Tinkerton. Iron Head. It's got Quick Claw, what the hell? 
and then you can waste all your potions. Get them out of the way now. So Wigglytuff goes down comfortably. Rapidash, that's going to be a psychic fairy type, isn't it? Yep, yeah, let's Shadow Claw. A what? A Maidable. It's going to be a fairy type, so. Oh. Okay, that changes things. It's got Oink Clone. Jesus, that did so much. It's Life Orb, that's why. Okay, Bitter Blade. It's literally just lived on the sliver. It takes itself out though with Life Orb, so it's not too bad. Toga Kiss, we can go. Actually, we've got Killer Watch Roll. And Discharge. We outspeed, so we don't really need to worry about the nasty plot too much. There we go. Huh? What, you always win? Ooh, why don't you let me win? Now I'll never become the prettiest boss Team Rocket's ever had. My fairy type Pokemon are whispering things in my ear. I must destroy you all. I found it. The Psycho Radar we were looking for. Hooray, hooray, let's hear it for everyone. I knew you were the cutest. Well, we're leaving now, okay? We won't bother you anymore. You have the whole mansion to yourself. Hee hee hee. Look how much space you're going to have now. And off they disappear. They have the remains of some kind of incubator. Something came out of it. I'll tell you what came out of it. He was new to. Oh, I got pee pee up. I'm assuming this probably takes us back to the beginning. Yeah. So. I'm kind of curious as to what else is in here because we didn't even activate half the switches. So there should be another switch in here, yeah. Which might open up another area. So that's now locked. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't mean to go into you. July the 11th, the new specimen we were looking for has apparently been dead for millennia. However, we have found samples of its DNA on some old tablets. Take this DNA to the lab right away for testing. Oh, Scorching Sands, that's not a bad, bad little TM actually. Okay, so there's nothing else up here. Where have we been up here? We couldn't escape. I was going to say, surely like it's not that hard to get away from a Durant. Okay, what about if we go back down? Is there something else open? Right, we need that open. What if we then flick this? No, that's still... Hmm. Yeah, that's still closed, so we need to open this back. And then maybe open the switch here and run all the way back down. Okay. We couldn't originally come in here. Got a dusk and sunstone. What about further on down? What about drop down here? 
Max Potion. Have we been here before? Yeah, we must have. There's got to be something down here. Yeah, I think this is where it leads to a different area. Got TM for solar beam, and then the other one looks like an exit of some sort. Oh. Okay. I think we might have seen everywhere. Sounds like you found out something in there. Share your knowledge. Team Rockets found a psych radar, you say. Shit, as delicate as those contraptions are, I didn't think it would have survived the flames of the fire. A psych radar serves the purpose of detecting psychic fields. Their long range makes them very notorious for tracking down powerful psychic type Pokemon. Now imagine Team Rocket plans to use it to find Mewtwo, the artificial Pokemon whose psychic powers set off the mansion fire. Well, it turned out to be a good afternoon. It's a lot to think about, but first I must leave for my gym to offer you that fight you long for. Be well prepared eh, they say my fire type Pokemon are unrivaled, although I consider myself better at riddles. Okay well, we'll just quickly run back heal and then we'll take him on. Okay so we're healed, let's head on in. Hello challenger, you see in this gym. First riddle Pokex. What kind of Pokemon are the warmest to cuddle with on a winter night? Fire type. Mr Blame we agreed that you will not leave until the end of the gym test. Oh sorry, so I won't start as soon as possible. You ruined my presentation. Anyway, to each leader you will have to go through some doors that will pose a series of puzzles. If you answer the riddle incorrectly, your Pokemon team will suffer a disadvantage in the next battle. As you can imagine, your opponents will be using fire type Pokemon. You might want to use water, rock or ground type. Take this, you'll need it. Okay, so we've got lemonade. Solve the following riddle. Which of these Pokemon has the earliest evolving pre-evolution? That'll be Charizard. Fortunately your answer was wrong. What? But Charmedian's level 16? Oh well, that's mega annoying. Right, we're gonna have to get rid of that burn, otherwise Bulldoze just isn't gonna do anything. Eruption does a lot of damage there. I think it's just lived, hasn't it? We've got a little bit lucky there. Right, up next is Pyro. Um, I actually burnt three of our Pokemon. You know, we're gonna go. No, we're not gonna go Sarah Ledge. We're just gonna stay in. Forget it. Bulldoze. Five blasts gonna hurt. Okay, um, let's go low kicks. First impression just for the sake of it, for the chip damage. If we outspeed, we KO, but we don't outspeed. Okay, this gym's going to be harder than I thought. Let's go for a Psycho Cut. It's got Crunch as well. And he gets a Defense Drop. Yep, yeah, this is not going to plan. Send out a Spathra, Psychic. How much damage did that do? And I've still got another Pokemon. A Marowak. Why a Shadow Burn of all things? If it had gone for like a Flare Blitz, it would have just been over. Okay, we got a little bit lucky here because Killer Watch will allow speed and KO with Air Slash. That's a sign that Blaine's going to be really hard. 
use the poke of oil, get everyone healed. Solve the following riddle. What fire type star would you find in Hoenn? Um, Torchic. Now face my assistant in a fiery battle. Okay, so heat more. Bulldoze. Does enough. The burns, no man. Honestly. I swear it's like a 10% chance. Then you crit us. Maybe we're going to need more than an oink alone. Next up, you've got Domanitan, which hits like an absolute truck. We'll go Serilege. Shadow Claw. And that deals with it. You have a way with fire. Excellent battle, you can go through to the next door. Okay, heal up again. What legendary bird is a fire type? Moltres. Your answer was correct. Now face my assistant in a fiery battle. Okay, Talon Flame. Uh, we can't actually deal with that, so let's go Spafra. Go for a Lumina Crash. And then Psychic should KO from there. Up oh, next we've got Magmortar. Man, this thing's going to be hard. Bulldoze. We outspeed it though. Oh, we got a crit. And we somehow live in Aurosphere. And then Charizard, let's go Kilowatt Roll. Discharge. I wonder what his Mega's going to be then, Blaine. Oh, he's got a Dragon Dance. Then goes for a special attack, which to be fair, nearly KO'd anyway. The heat never bothered you. Excellent battle, you can go through to the next door. Okay, hopefully this is the last one. Which of these moves does not benefit from the presence of the sun? Maybe hurricane. Now for another assistant. Come on. Oh, okay. Baldur's is like four times super effective. Does still live there. But then you've got Rockhead. And then Center Scorch. We'll go Kilowatt Roll. And then let's go for an Air Slash. Which it somehow lives. Don't know why you'd switch there unless you got first impression. Your power is off the Kelvin scale. Okay, hopefully this is now to uh, Blaine. What is the name of the handsome intelligent leader you're going to face? Blaine, Kane, Main. Right, let's save. I don't think it's going to go plain sailing. I've had such a good time watching you suffer with my riddles. And I see you missed a few, you won't get the extra prize at the end of the match. You've already seen that the destructive capacity of fire type Pokemon is praiseworthy. But I prefer, you, I prefer to use them in a more, let's say, constructive way. Since I'm also a researcher as well as a gym leader, I would like you to come out of this confront confrontation having learned a few things. By the way, behind me is a chroma key. I'm going to use to change the battle background and add a little extra spectacle. Let's fight it out. I hope you have a burn here already. Oh snap, look at that background. Okay, tall coal. Or yawn. All those doesn't actually do that much okay you're definitely gonna heal no I'm actually gonna go for a speed increase 
then we'll bulldoze. Uh, let's full heal. Have got a plan here to cheese. Yawn. Again, solar beam, don't mind. We should have loads of X special defense. And now we're going to just basically set on Colonel to just absolutely destroy. So we'll go for another one of these. Yawn you back to sleep. Obviously if we get crit then we're in serious trouble. Then we'll set up an X attack. Set up another one. Put you back to sleep again. Then we can heal one last time, and now we should be able to sleep, I think. Now let's see if we get quick, then this all comes to an end. Although, that, that bulldoze doesn't even KO. Now we will, though. Let's bring out Typhlosion. Yep, we sweep that. I think it's plain sailing from here. Torkoal's chunky though, so... No, we still take that out as well. Okay, Sunfloor is not what I expected. Let's go for a headbutt. Pounding. Oh, that's going to be your Mega, isn't it? I'm telling you, Oin Cologne is the king of Gen 9, or queen, since it's female. One amazing battle. I've been reduced to ashes from lighting my, lighting my fire so much. Wonderful, I would say, even more radiant. You played with fire and it worked out well. I'll give you my badge. So that's badge number 7, the last one should be Giovanni. And I will also grant you a TM, I trust it will be very useful for you. you got Fire Blast. Now if you will allow me, we must return to the matter of Team Rocket and the Psycho Raider. I've taken the liberty of telling my friend Bill the Pokemaniac. I think you already know him. He's working on a project that you might be able to help with. He's waiting for you at the gym door. And we've got some plates. Here he is. It's been a while, Pokéx. I see that you have progressed in your career towards the Pokémon League. Professor will be very proud of you when he sees you. Leader Blaine has brought me up to date on the situation. Everything points to Team Rocket trying to capture Mewtwo. The artificial Pokémon that was created in the burned mansion but escaped to an unknown location. And I'm afraid that Giovanni is almost everything ready to start his big plan. We have to go to my house in Cerulean City. I've also notified your friends to meet all of us. They will explain my plan to stop the Giovanni's ambitions. Let me know when you're all set to go. Okay, well, we'll leave that for the next episode. So yeah, next episode, go and speak to Bill. Find out the plan. Stop Giovanni. Then probably get our 8th gym badge. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And hope to see you all next time.